Arguably the biggest game changer this year has been the lower cap on rotations. That's meant an even greater focus on interchanges. Thanks to Revolution Roofing, we go under the coach's roof to find out how the rotations are managed, who's responsible and how does the timing work. Look at them, they're all checking the clock. They need to get their teammates off. They've had less rotations than the Eagles. In terms of game day, yeah, that's uh, organised chaos, really. Um, we have myself down there. Um, I'm wired up to up in the box, um, getting instructions from coaches. Um, we've also got one of our other staff up there who's sort of moving the board, telling me where players are. Players have a general idea of where they're going and, and what times they need to be coming, but as you know, a game of footy is pretty chaotic and, and things change. The aim is to try and keep speed on the game, um, getting our midfielders rotating as, as much as possible. Um, also our high half forwards, high half backs, you know, we can't neglect them and leave them out there for too long because if they have a player come onto them that's really fresh, um, you know, it's, it's really hard for them if they've been playing a lot of game time to play on a, a player who hasn't had as much game time and is probably a lot fresher than them. The coaches sort of before the game and, and in the week leading up to it, uh, the players know the general area where they're going to play, you know, midfield, forward, back, but there's a lot of crossover bet between that and, and a lot of times you need to sort of almost make things up on the, on the go. Players have multiple positions they can play. Someone like a David McKay can almost play four or five different positions and so throughout a game at any one stage he might play all five of those positions. Picks up, plenty of time and he snaps a goal. 90 rotations, uh, it is a challenge uh, as much as that you can't waste them. Probably the biggest change has been that players spend longer on the bench now, so rather than it being you know, 90 seconds or, or two minutes, it's, it's sort of three to four, maybe even five minutes, um, and, and that's really hard for the players. They want to get back out there and play. Back it comes, his lead runs to 50. Low ball, is it accurate enough? The crowd will let you know. There's never ever a rule to say you must come off after you kick a goal. I think it's a bit of a thing that a player often gets told maybe one or two minutes before they kick the goal, hey, you've got to get off you know, as soon as you can. And I reckon that might be a bit of motivation to just run that little bit harder or, or that kind of thing. So when they come off after kicking a goal, that is 100% a fluke if you see it at the Adelaide Football Club.